house so some people actually already requested me to you know uh, do a video to share some in insights on no, eighth house so eighth house is uh, because the house eighth house is a house of mystery so it is a bit uh, complicated to understand so then i thought you know let me do a video uh, about eighth house so coming to eighth house okay eighth house is uh, the house of uh, longevity shared assets shared resources uh, gain from insurance uh, marital life is also seen from eighth house so why marital life is seen from eighth house because uh, second house to any house it shows the resources of the house the seventh house shows the spouse uh, your partner because uh, eighth is second to seventh house then it shows uh, marital life also because when you get married uh, you get into some understanding some people you know kind of uh, have some contracts uh, understandings bindings so they are going to rule their marital life if any of them break those uh, contracts understandings then it may cause trouble in their marital life also eighth house is uh, house of uh, accidents sudden changes transformation uh, house of uh, kundalini occult um, what else is our eighth house yeah house of in laws and uh, the obstacles uh, the resistance uh, that anyone faces when he moves forward in his life that is actually seen from eighth house so it is considered as one of the dustana houses because it is uh, 12th to 9th house so say that you know there is a well and you are pulling water out of that well so eighth house is eighth house actually pulls all the energy from ninth house so it spends all the energy from the ninth house so as everybody knows ninth house is uh, fortune and uh, spirituality father guru so people who have a strong prominent eighth house they are actually real soldiers they are real warriors because it's not easy to cope up this energy people who have a strong eighth house or a bad eighth house they definitely should have some guidance so that is one thing so various planets have various uh, significations when they are placed in 8th uh, house depending upon uh, the dignity of the planet in divisional charts and uh, shatbala as well so so i see that uh, to to my to my knowledge to my experience based on my experience so 8th house is a very important house it should not be weak because uh, in a certain chart a, a person may have some marka planets causing marka or uh, illness uh, a miserable situation if they don't have strong eighth house it's very tough for them to sail through their situation so eighth house plays significant role in deciding a person's uh, longevity so consider today's times like before corona and after corona now everyone's priority is health a person who is who is in good health is more powerful than a person who is wealthy and who is fortunate actual fortunate people the definition of uh, fortune has been changed after this corona people who have very good health they are said to be very fortunate people and a strong eighth house is a blessing for them because if you have life a longevity so then only you can you can see things happening in your life
so without proper health proper longevity longevity there is no point in talking about yogas in horoscope also so that's the that's the significance of uh, eighth house so based on my my experience eighth house should not be too strong nor too weak it has to attain moderate strength for a person to be successful what happens if the if eighth house is too strong because this person's life is prone to many unexpected things litigations accidents things that are uh, that cannot be explained things that are unknown things that are hidden so this person is prone to threat of uh, all these things if a person has too strong eighth house if you see shatbala strength of eighth house if it is a, the shatbala strength of eighth house should not be more than ascendant strength it should be either equal to ascendant strength or should be less than its ascendant strength so the reason why eighth house is called dustana one is it is 12th to 9th house which actually spends out uh, the pura punya your fortune the second thing is uh, it is house of uh, sudden changes because it's something like you know uh, you have been in sunny weather and all of a sudden you get into a cold weather how do you feel so your body should accustomed to a sudden change and during this that process Uh, the person may face some kind of uh, uh, uneasiness a turbulence that's what eighth house is and also eighth house uh, stands for joint assets i am sure you know people who have strong eighth house they manage other people's resources these people could be pooling money from others and investing or uh, these people could be having a joint venture contract with other other partners and managing that money because it is seven it is second to seventh house it's a partner's money and coming to woman's chart eighth house has a lot of significance in terms of oh, that mangal yoga is a, a shubha planet an auspicious planet in eighth house or a, a, if eighth house receives you know benefic planets aspect then this the, that particular woman is supposed to have that saubhagya yoga so it means that you know the woman passes before her husband so coming to uh, the significations of uh, eighth house so considering you know aries as a uh, starting uh, sign of uh, kala chakra then the natural eighth house being uh, scorpio so scorpio is uh, ruled by mars so mars big be- mars becomes uh, a significator for eighth house so irrespective of ascendants wherever mars is there so he brings certain eighth house significations in any chart apart from eighth lord and planet sitting in eighth house in anyone's chart if eighth house receives mars aspect then mars becomes a strong significator of eighth house as well because he is a natural eighth house lord because everybody knows that mars is known for accidents quarrels and also eighth house is known as a emotional blockage any hidden things emotions that actually restrict you from making progress is seen from eighth house now let us coming to uh, let us come to the planets that play a key role in eighth house so what are the planets that do well in eighth house and what are the planets uh, that may not do well in eighth house 
So there are some thumb rules mentioned in the Vedic text. So Mercury does well in 8th house because uh, Mercury is uh, intellect, analytical thinking. So when Mercury goes to 8th house, so this person becomes a very good research scientist. He keeps on you know, digging things. What, why, how, where. And other planet I would like to mention is Rahu. Rahu can do extremely well in 8th house because Rahu is a Rahu is a planet that indicates a certain some of the 8th house significations because Rahu is occult, Rahu is unknown, Rahu is sudden, Rahu is obsession. Rahu Ketu, they are also supposed to do well, but Rahu does well better than Ketu in 8th house. Because 8th house is also known as Kundalini. If people who have a prominent Rahu in 8th house, in a, in a good sign, in a good constellation, in Yoga Karaka Nakshatra, they experience this Kundalini. Just imagine if a person raises Kundalini successfully, everything is possible for him. Odd bad yogas turn good yogas in his chart. If a person is capable of raising his Kundalini, So that's why I, I mentioned, so all these mystic mystic practices, occult practices, Kundalini and these things, healing, uh, one should have a guru. So people who have uh, significant 8th house, either main planets, important planets, either Lagna Lord or you know, uh, Kendra planet sitting in 8th house, it is important that they need to have a guidance, a guru kind of energy in their life. Because, so that that energy is actually channelized properly so that it will not impact adversely. And uh, Jupiter. Jupiter does well in 8th house. So a person who has uh, Jupiter in 8th house is said to be expert in many Sastras and Vedas. But the problem here is because Jupiter is positioned 12th from 9th house so it produces Guru Dosha so this person either in this life in past or in previous birth should have committed some sin related to Guru so people who have Guru Jupiter in 8th house they need to serve their Guru they need to start searching who is my Guru how to how do I connect to him And Mars, Mars in 8th house, so basically he produces uh, strong uh, Mangal Dosh in 8th house, strong in 8th uh, in house. So Mars is, even though he's a natural significator for 8th house, he won't do well in 8th house Mars. Because Mars is uh, uh, a courageous person, Mars is known for initiation, energy. A warrior, a soldier. So, if Mars into gets into eighth house, so basically this is this is a good this is a good combination for uh, doctors and surgeons. Mars in eighth house, and even some tantrics also have this uh, placement. Mars or Rahu or Saturn in eighth house, where they do deep digging and you know explore something you know which is hidden and try to understand those energies coming to saturn so saturn in eighth house he actually is good for uh, longevity and also it is good for marital life also any any benefic planet or saturn in eighth house cannot break uh, marital life or relationship 
because Saturn always delays. Because Saturn is Ayush Karaka, Karaka in Bhava is supposed to do well. But there was a saying that, you know, Karake Bhavana Shinaha. If significator gets into the house, then he may spoil the house. So actually we have to, we should not take the meaning of it as it is. So when a significator gets into his own house, so suppose uh, uh, Saturn is uh, Karaka for uh, longevity and if Saturn gets in 8th house is the house of longevity. If Saturn, Saturn gets into 8th house, what happens is Saturn takes things granted because I'm, I'm in my own plane, I'm comfortable. He keeps on delaying the death of this particular person if the Saturn is in 8th house. These people have to wait for their death to come. And coming to Venus, or Venus in 8th house, Venus in 8th house, eighth house uh, in one way is good, in one way it's not good. Because 8th house is a house of marital life. So Venus is uh, a planet that signifies, that signifies pleasures. So he, he, that makes a person, you know, very romantic, sexual. Because eighth house is also house of sexuality. And coming to moon, yeah, if if moon gets into eighth house, it means that you know your mind is lost somewhere. So this actually this position of moon is good for meditation so person people who are highly spiritual uh, who do tapasya meditation who heal uh, others problems to through divine transformation or reiki or pranic healing or pranayama or kundalini so this is a good position for them and also moon in eighth house the person is, is bound to face this uh, emotional blockages and the uh, health of mother may not be good and they have fear of uh, deep waters and uh, they have to make sure they don't play and they don't get into deep waters when they go for um, rivers or seas, oceans, beaches. They should not play with water, deep waters.